Let's see. Let's see if Scott dances. Does Scott wiggle around? I can wiggle around a little bit. Yeah, that's all you have to do. <laughs> you don't have to like the music. Just sway. I think it gets the energy going. It tells Spirit we're going to dance with them. Like that. I just love the tune. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's good to see you. Let me grab my... Uh... Oh, wow. We've got some... Everyone's on time. Oh, that's there so great. Cool. <laughs> I want to welcome Scott from Scott... Scott Scorpio Sun Tarot. He has a, uh, those of you who don't know, he has a wonderful channel. I'm going to have the links in the show notes. Uh, they might be all, already there. I would love for you to go over and please subscribe and like his stuff because his stuff is so good. He's so, you. yeah, you, you really don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do know, but it's the, it's that cadence that I long for because what I do in a reading is I go, blah, 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 blah. And I think I all oh, connect the dots and I just get excited and I start breathing crazy. And you're just so straight, even, <laughs> I mean, you're amazing advisor just a, an amazing advisor and thank i you. want to yeah so glad you're here oh jackie thank you so much it's so nice to see you again and we have a visitor tamsi Faye, coming yes. in for, oh i like that icon you have there um tamsi i did so, a show with her as well she is she's great oh is that right oh yes. you're a youtube person yes she's a channel creator Awesome. Shows. I'd yes. love to see. I'd love to collaborate. <laughs> it says, I'm, there you go, Tamsi. She says, uh, always too early or too late. You're just fine. Oh, she's uh, here now, though. Yep. I will leave it on so I don't miss any. So, right. And what it will do is to make sure we'll, in, if, if we flag a question, we'll read it out loud. So if you're doing the dishes or something, you can hear the question. Uh, let's see. We've got someone here from your channel, Catherine Pfeiffer uh, Crokin. Good evening, Deborah Scott and everyone from beautiful Prince Edward Island, Canada. I know Prince Edward Island. Absolutely. It's, a beaut it's beautiful there. And I'm moving down here. Another beautiful soul from Scott's channel. Thank you so much. It's Miss Moonlight. Hey I appreciate you coming in. Oh, hey, you subscribed to my channel, too. Oh, oh, good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Moonlight. Yeah. I and anyone who's not um, subscribed that's over on my channel, please come describe, uh, subscribe to Je Deborah's as well. Oh, I'd appreciate you. you guys doing that. Sorry, Thank you ahead. so much. I appreciate that so much. So, Garnet... Uh, Scott, good evening, she says. I'm so happy you're here. Yes, he's in um, UK. So I guess it's the evening over there. That's right. It would be. Right. Okay, we have um, Courtney. Hello, Courtney. Thanks for helping out, too. McGrill is here. Hello, McGrill. Happy Saturday. Hello. Is it Saturday? Yep, it's Saturday. Just want to take a few seconds more to say hello to everyone. Jessica Lynn. Hello, hello. And Courtney, I'm going to move down a little bit. Bora Bora, I love. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. And Jackie, Jacaranda, of course, is she's, she's the, she is so great. Help us out. Hi, Scott. Hi, Deborah. Hi, all in chat. Well, that covers everything. <laughs> Care Bear, I love that. So you read cards as well. The tarot magician is here. Hey, Renee. Oh, Renee. hello. It's very nice to meet you, Renee. And wait a minute. Oh, Chicoco. Okay. Chicoco. Oh, yes. They came into my um, live this morning for the first time. So they're back. Wonderful. Thank you so much for checking in on us. Because I'm going to ask. Hope I got everybody. Oh, look at that. Hey, Jan. <laughs> Jan. Jan's free. That her icon or her picture is a little chihuahua with a big bone. <laughs> and we've got Nancy. Oh, a hey, Nancy. Yes. I'm so glad everyone's in. Everyone's, and I'm, I'm going to miss people. Here's 
uh, Annie and Glenda that are, oh gosh, I'm going to miss everything. But you know, um, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Here's Jilly. Hey, Jilly. 1362. Oh, she's got a cute dog too. Everybody has such cute dogs. Hello, Ness. It's, guys, it's so nice to see you. She says, um, Care Bear says, I thought I already subscribed to me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you did. I don't know how to read all the icons. I'm sorry. I just saw a link there. So you entered on his channel. I think, Tarot Magician. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to put our friend Scott because he has got a great following. He has got, um, he has got some dedicated uh, fans and subscribers and he's so good at what he does that I thought I would interview him like like on TV people interview on TV just see a little bit more from Scott than maybe he's revealed in the past so I've, here's my question if you have a question for Scott please let me know I'll keep an eye on the on the uh Madam Maru, it's good to see you on the chat. I'll, I'll think about it. Think about what you could ask him, what I'm going to ask him. What on earth happened in your life to draw your attention to the psychic sciences? That's interesting. That's you got me right from the start. So you, you got me stumped a little bit, but um, I, I had to pinpoint it down kind of, and um, I've always been interested a little bit, but I was raised Southern Baptist. So that was, this was a big no, no. Um, but um, as time went on and I became agnostic, you know, I started, you know, just being aware of tarot and spirituality, but not really knowing that much about it. Mm -hmm. And um, then I actually uh, fell in 2018, I think it was, and I um, cracked my ankle, I shattered my ankle on both sides. And I was bedridden basically for about six months. And um, while I was bedridden, mm -hmm. I learned how to do bed yoga. And that just kind of opened up different things I learned about Christina Lopes, who is a wonderful, wonderful, she's my spiritual mentor. She's on YouTube. I've never met her. She doesn't know me from Adam, but I, I learned so much from her just by her being on YouTube. And um, then that kind of led me down the road that I'm taking now. So, so getting in touch with your body more with the yoga mm -hmm. um, puts you into the upper chambers and there goes right. the conversation with your just guide. learning that you know and learning what, that i was an empath and you know that i could have control over you know that we have free will basically and i could have control over the um the life that i lead and i could change it if i wanted to change it so isn't, isn't that something when you first get it it's really it's, we are are blessed with free choice and uh and it it really does affect our predictions and things like that because one thing about getting a reading uh, just even a quick one if 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 it shows something that's coming up for you that you'd really rather not deal with <laughs> then you can choose right. not to it's just yeah. forewarned for the onset so uh, I love that so um, so in other words when you were young this was all taboo and it wasn't until what year was it? Just a few years ago when you broke your leg, broke your ankle. Yeah. 2018, I believe. So what, what, boy, that's a really soon, uh, not too long ago. So what about your family? What um, are they saying? <laughs> the ones that know about it or just don't talk about it is it actually was easier for me to come out of the closet as being gay than coming out of the closet as a tarot reader. So <laughs> believe it or not, it really, it really was. So um, it's just a big no, no up here is considered satanic and, you know, just um, not looked highly upon. I'm in the middle of a red County in Virginia. So oh, it's very, very red. So I'm just a little speck of blue in here. So YouTube, <laughs> so your YouTube channel is actually really your family. 
It is my family. Yeah. yeah, they are my family. And um, that's why I have crazy times that I come on and, and, you know, do shows whenever is because I want to be with these people and I want to, you know, have them in my chat and be able to talk back and forth and mm -hmm. hopefully give a little bit by giving the readings and I get back so much from them. They don't, yeah. they don't realize it, that they right. do. And they, they're so giving and charitable and loving. And mm. So that I, makes it for me. I found that myself. I can't believe the genuine care people have, um, you know, the subscribers and fans and, or, or followers or whatever you want to call them. They're just beautiful, beautiful souls. Um, haven't met one I hadn't liked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, um, okay. So this, I think you already answered. What modality did you, did you learn, want to, want to learn first? Was it dowsing? Was it, well, yoga is a modality to spirit, but it's not right. one, it's more of a personal journey. So you have all the decks. <laughs> <laughs> oracle tarot you read right. them both really well is it pendulum is it dowsing is it what what drew your attention what was the shiny object it was tarot definitely yeah, yeah i um just one day i was meditating and it just came to me as like you know i remember i got this tarot reading like 20 years ago and it really made sense and i wonder if that has anything to do with the journey i'm on right now because you know, mm -hmm. i was having my spiritual awakening mm -hmm. and um i was like i wonder if that has anything to do with that and it ended up having everything to do with it and um just i was really blessed to find tarot so yeah oh, and oracle awesome. as well and what oracle and oracle of course yeah. yes that brings an extra spice of like for instance oracle cards i regard as the uh, major arcana as like messages from yeah. it from the highest point um so i did star someone who said that they have donated to you paypal um I can actually, um, since we're doing this, uh, some people have donated for readings. If you, you guys want to wait until tonight, I'll do readings for you guys. So we can do it that way. So we, we can do the, the show for um, Deborah here. Oh, okay. It was already planned. I just didn't put any notices up. So that's probably my fault. Uh, that's fine. But, that's fine. Because I just have a little list. This is what I, this is my getting to know you. <laughs> list. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go through this fast and we'll get to some re readings. I want to support our, our our people here in the room who took time out of their day to turn us on. That's great. Um, Thank you. Uh, so what was your first deck, your first tarot deck? Um, believe it or not, it was the wild unknown and I did not care for it at all and i still don't use it at all but it um opened the door for me um so i was um friends with a girl at work who was a witch and so i thought well if anybody knows tarot it's gonna be her uh -huh. and so i asked her and she's like yeah i have one deck but it's a little sassy and i was like oh okay and i was like well I don't know what else to do so i'll just buy this one deck and um yeah. i did an interview with it and um you know deck interviews and i was getting great cards and everything else and then the last question is how do you see our relationship meaning mine and the tarot's relationship and i got the devil and i freaked out and my friend goes no wait a minute she said, <laughs> that probably just means that you're going to get addicted and boy yeah. was that right Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because I became a, a tarot collector and I love tarot so much. It has brought me into the arts and, and um, you know, just had my creative juices start flowing and I wouldn't have any of this or the channel or nothing right, if it right, wasn't right. for tarot. So. That's great. Yeah, you know, people look at the devil and the tower and they get, ooh, all creeped out. And I got to right. tell you, it's... Uh, obsessions can take you to great places uh, some are just <laughs> self-sabotaging of course but uh uh i think it took you to a great place and that's wonderful Definitely. 
You know, I was uh, teaching, I, I teach the tarot, and so I was teaching this couple, and I said, just go out and buy yourself a deck. It was before my deck came out, and so one of them bought the Thoth deck, T-H-O-T-H, Thoth. Um, wow, right. right. And I, I thought, oh, well, that's okay. It is not okay. <laughs> the tarot that Thoth brings out is way different. It's a different philosophy. Yes. So I know what you mean about uh, decks that you th you think are gonna like and may not. Okay, right. have you ever lived in other places in the country, the world, a different place in the city? Do you jump around, or are you pretty much where you want to be? Um, I'm actually looking to move soon. I'm in the middle of the country um, in Virginia in the mountains, but I'm only here because I came to take care of my mom. So now that she's gone, you know, I, I'm i looking to eventually move. So I've got to save awesome. up some money and that's what I want to do. So so, yeah. so that's, uh, that's a wonderful goal because that one of the um, – one of the questions, the last question, what, and I'll just go to the last one, is what is your North Star? In other words, your goal at the moment, which some of it is moving, and what specific ways we can support you to quicken and, this, uh, this, and celebrate that success. So you, you do readings online, right? Yes. You don't do, do you do private Private not, readings? Yet, not yet. I'm, I'm still toying with that. So um, I have to get up the nerve to do that and um, have to decide, you know, how to do that and what platform and all that. But uh, I'm thinking about doing that soon. So okay. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. We'll yeah. talk because I can get you over the crazy of that. If you if you'll have me, <laughs> of course, yes. So it would be it would be fun to have you, so you can personally do it. But I think, I think the people here, especially with the with the responses I'm seeing here, you um, be, these people genuinely want to see you successful. They want to see me successful, and I'm just so grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do okay. Here's one. How does spirit speak to you? hearing seeing feeling touching when i'm actually um doing tarot and my my tarot kind of um got to the point where i was really picking up the readings was after my mom passed away and i really do believe that she is one of my angels a lot of people don't you know don't believe that but i believe she can be in different places different times and i believe that she blessed me with being able to read and i sometimes will feel the energy of especially if it's someone who has passed and there's a question about that i will feel the energy mm -hmm. and sometimes i will hear different things um just from spirit and when i'm saying hearing i don't hear a bit a an audio voice. from the outside it's yeah. coming from well the, from your thoughts yeah. so from my thoughts and i will hear things like where did that come from i need to to tell this person this or was this or i'm hearing this but it's mostly from just intuitive and knowing the cards as well so mm -hmm. it's memory knowing the cards and then looking intuitively after that to see where they take me i don't know if i answered that right or not yeah so. you did <laughs> answer it right there's no right and wrong, there's no right and wrong. you're right <laughs> but not it but the thing is is that what how we how we do it as as advisors is that we have all these tools uh, uh that were named earlier that get us in the direction of the room of knowing that's how i get it you know those epiphanies when you the story starts and you know it's not yours you know it's your your uh your client's story and you just know stuff that room there's a lot of paths to that and right. so um so you've got that down and it's just a little protocol to get you in that direction and that's what uh what we got going so do you see ghosts no and i wouldn't call them I wouldn't call them ghosts. I, I just see people who have passed in my dreams um, that I've known. Oh, nice. And um, my mom, one time when I was waking up, I actually felt her hug me 
And, wow. you know, I, I believe that she was there in that moment. And it kind of crossed over from the dream into reality. Um, but that was right after she passed. But I, I still have dreams about people who have passed, but I don't have a lot that I remember. So hmm. but I as far as seeing go oh sorry. Go ahead. As, just, as far as seeing ghosts, um, I would have to say no, the paranormal is um, you know, I've I've felt downloads before and things like that, and um saw orbs and things like that but never sure. really what i would call ghosts i don't think so yeah awesome uh, yeah you're tapping in just fine because that's um what a beautiful thing to have be able to have is a hug right. from someone who loves you it's just right. uh it's just great it's just great courtney super sticker appreciate that look at that look at that puppy that's oh hunter gosh. hunter hello yes. dear <laughs> There was another one I starred. I'm just looking real close here. Where are you? I believe it I might have been Ness. There it is. Uh, uh, I've got Courtney that has a question. But first of all, here's my new banner for my friend. I created it just for Scott. <laughs> Thank you and so much. And we will both blow you a kiss <laughs> by subscribing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, Courtney, did you have a, a question uh, that you would like us to answer <laughs> or somebody to answer? If so, then uh, put it in the chat. I'll get it. And if you want me to participate as well, I would need your birthday. Thank you, Bora Bora, for putting my own channel in there. And I'm sure someone is putting um, Deborah's in on my channel, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Warrior Girl. Just want to say hi real quick. And Twisted Sushi. There's a lot of Twist wonderful people. <laughs> Twisted Sushi. I love it. And Twisted Sushi just had a baby sushi just about a week or so ago. So. Oh, congratulations, a baby sushi. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I am just looking at some. Um, uh, okay, we have, I had no idea about the world of tarot until a few months ago, and I can see why people collect them. It's art. It really is. It really is, because I have, art. I have uh, decks that, some of the cards to die for now what i do what i do with decks that I'm not fond of is i have an orange tree in the backyard and it's a night it's just a it's just a perfect size orange tree, not too tall not too wide and right. i would take from that deck cards that i really love you know like empress i really love the empress and temperance and all of that stuff and you like poke a hole in the top and with with string that like fiber cotton fiber you tie it inside the tree and oh, wow. it's such a nice energy when you go I, when i go in the backyard and i can see my empress right there and my even though that i didn't like the deck but i love that that uh icon <laughs> oh that's cool that that's, is really different yeah that's, and you can that's also interesting. yeah you can also put some nice ones in uh, correspondence. We don't mail cards much anymore, but you can always right. break it up that way. I am checking. Let me go to my banner and give this a break. I just have to look and see. Thank you, Bora Bora. And I believe, um, just to let you know, Deborah Ness gave a donation as well. So, oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if she has a question. I haven't seen, but I'm gonna look. Uh, and Ness, if you have a question, would you please repost it? Because I'm getting to the end first. Right now, I've got um, Courtney. How will May go for me? Oh, Courtney, this is great. And I've got the Clarity deck and the Gilded Royale. So yay! Yes. Thank you for using my tarot deck. 
I'm going to go ahead and do your numbers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, Ness, we'll do your daily card pull tonight if you have time, okay? If not, tomorrow. I promise. Courtney. Is this year kind of frantic for you, I wonder? <laughs> so if perhaps you would like, if perhaps anyone would like to come into our studio here and ask a question in real time so you can we can talk back and forth, I would like to invite you in. Oh, wow. You should yeah. you should move in this through a uh, use your Chrome, uh, have your camera up and your microphone enabled and all that stuff. But then you can appear down below, and I'll bring you into the chat, and then we can have like a conversation, like a real reading. <laughs> but, oh, that's awesome! Yeah, it's kind of fun to do. Um, I'll tell you what I've got for you that this year is kind of a year that is asking you to stay loose it's okay everything's okay but your your life path number is a four and you don't feel comfortable with all that quick moving energy <laughs> I, I mean you're you're fun and everything it's not like you're stoic but the four uh life path and you are a four zero forty slash four life path uh that means it's a double dose <laughs> of four which is this uh stability safety that's what you go for the five personal year tells me that you uh, may feel a little out of control or that people or or that people on the outside of you uh have more control that and that anxiety comes up but i gotta tell you things are going to be working out just fine don't worry and i do see that you're a little hard on yourself with the five of cups guilt and remorse just stop that <laughs> It's easy for me to say, but we're so hard on ourselves. And I do have the Knight of, of Cups coming in. So even though you might feel a little shaky now, it looks like it's going to come turn around your your way. <laughs> what did you get? Well, the first card I got is the Page of Wands. So this is the free spirit, in my opinion. So I think that you need to just be yourself, Courtney. You're on the right track. Um, don't want to miss any opportunities with the four of swords or four of cups, excuse me. So don't miss any opportunities that are there for you. And just make sure that you're opening your heart to spirit and letting um, emotions come in that are good for you as well and changing the ones that are not. Um, then you've got the six of pentacles. So generosity, giving, to others is what you do. You do that all the time on my channel and I'm sure in real life. And this is, I think, spirit just recognizing you for doing what you are. You're such a, a wise individual and so smart. And um, I believe that you probably have some psychic abilities too. I think this is the psychic queen, in my opinion. And she brings in peace too with the dove, it looks like. Is that a dove, Deborah? I'm uh, now uh, Kate. Yeah, no, it's an owl. It's an owl. Okay, it's I didn't see owl. that. Close. Yeah. Well, the owl brings in wisdom. So mm -hmm. that's wisdom coming in for you. And then we got the, um, the fool. So just because it's a rainy day doesn't mean that it's going to end up a bad day. So turn those things around and then look for a new adventure to be happening as well. Maybe a new opportunity is coming for you. And um, I think that there is a, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing there is a new opportunity. Um, it may be a little bit up and down with the umbrella and the, the, the weather, but it's going to be worth taking. So that's what, and there's a little dog there for you for Hunter. Oh, for Hunter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what I got for you, Courtney. I just love that. Oh, thank you, Courtney. I did find Ness's question, and it's for, uh, how will May go for me? Oh, yeah, she's now Ness is, uh, is a thirty-three life path, which makes her, uh, makes you. I should say that 
like you're in the room, <laughs> like we're not talking behind her back or anything. But um, this, she has a ex, master numbers have an extra pressure. It feels like under the gun. I got to do something big. I got to sort things out that is big so I can sh uh, share it with the masses. Now you said a personal eight nine year. I believe you're saying that because. You may do numerology from birthday to birthday. That's fine. I do it calendar year for you know, January to January, uh, wh whatever works that way. But let me just um, see what spirit is saying. Ah, defend your position and you're not going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> I love that message too. Uh, so, so and you're good. You're you're you are you're good at defending your position because you have a lot of backup. This is one of the things when when Ness speaks, she has sight. She can cite her source. She can cite where she got the information, and that's always good news. the The nights of missing sleep is over. So it looks like you're healing from that. Uh, money's coming in. But it doesn't. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Doesn't necessarily mean there's money coming in. It could be, but anything tangible, anything you can hold in your hand. Um, very people are proud of you. I'm proud of you. But this Six of Wands speaks of it's like spirit asking me to tell you that there are people watching you and learning from you. It's, I had told you this before, where I believe your students are gathering. You learn things as if you're going to teach them, thank goodness, because you can make hard things sound understandable very easily. And um, so you're going to be br bringing that around. There is a king of swords. I, I believe my first hit is that it's a professor or because swords is thought. And so I believe it might be a professor that's going to be uh, supporting your work uh, very much. So I appreciate you. Do you have anything for Ness? Did you want to throw? Um, I, Ness, I pulled a couple of cards for you. And I want to make sure that um, I'm doing your daily tarot pull um, at the, the show probably tonight. If not, we'll definitely get it tomorrow. Um, but I have nine of cups for you is how May will go. This is Yay. manifestation, the genie in the bottle card, right? So mm -hmm. um, I see changes coming for you with the butterflies, um, the beautiful butterflies, all different colors. So a lot of beautiful changes are coming for you. Um, you got the six of cups. So you may remember times when things were really good when you were smaller and long for that, but just realize that you can have even better um, going forward and in the future so knowing that you can make memories right where you are being in the now and then you have the eight of cups and walking away from something that no longer resonates you can see her walking away here and it's for it's for her best that she does that because these things that no longer resonate so it's not going to be that you're going to have a hard time getting rid of them anyways so just take the um older things and cast them aside so that new things can come in all right so you got new new cups coming in for the old cups so and this is the eight and the nine and this very well shuffled and the six so you got three cups wow a lot of emotion it's going to be happening for you. And don't be scared of that. It could be great emotion. Yeah, great emotion. And I just saw in the Nine of Cups as well um, as a uh, symbol there, a music symbol. I think it's the treble, but I'm terrible with music symbols. So I'll just say it's music. Music is something that can really help you as well, I believe, in your life and um, bring you closer to spirit. Okay, that's what I got. Yeah, you know, I always think about music uh, when I, in my past life, I'll try and make this really quick, but it's an interesting story. Remember the story about the Lost Boys? I forget what continent it was, but they were doing genocide. So there's a lot of people moved out of there. And I had a client who worked for the UN, so I followed her through uh, her position. And she was 
actually the one that uh, that brought all these young men over and they were going to live in certain spots in the U.S. And um, so this is, it. they were in, uh, their, they know the jungle well, and that's, they spent all their life uh, in the jungle. And here they are on a plane, and they're fascinated, and they're excited. And uh, my friend said, my friend said, um, I didn't want to scare them or make them nervous because they were all excited anyway, but we were going to miss our next, our connecting flight. So what I did in a very calm voice, I said, here's the map. We need to get from here to here and have whoever gets there, you know, ask them to hold on. We're on our way. And they were like, this whole group of guys were like gazelles that <laughs> went through this. <laughs> But one of the things they said to her and I got blessed with is take music with you into the dark. It will make you brave. Mm. It's a good thing. You can just lean into that music and know it. it's there. Uh, I did see here, you know what I just learned? I've got uh, a, little, a little tab here that says the starred people. So I can star people and then just go off this list. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get here. Oh, Alice is one of my new members. Thank you so much. And Courtney, I said hello for that. And, we, and uh, oh, Moonlight. Thank you, Super Sticker. Thank you. And we, we just did uh, Ness. And we've got oh, Miss Moonlight again. So sweet. Um, oh, thank you. And she did so, one on each of our channels. She did. <gasps> Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad somebody's thinking. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying. I have a really hard time with this, uh, but I appreciate you so much. Thank you but so you, much. means a lot. You drive so well, so you're, you're doing awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. So um, this is for you, Scott. Okay. I'm Karen. Um, do you use spreads reading live or do you read with no assigned card position that's a good question um i do spread um shows every once in a great while but um i was doing when i first started and up until a few months ago i was doing like past present future that kind of thing where i would do one two three in order and that's how I would read for other people. But now I just take the whole reading and use it intuitively. So um, right now I don't use any spreads. I just use the whole reading together and to line them up. However, that I feel intuition is calling me to line them up. So usually it's how I pull them. But it just depends on intuition and what intuition is, is telling me to do. So I hope that makes sense, Karen. <laughs> That's so neat. I'm just zipping through here to make sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ness. <laughs> Ness said, thank you. I have a weird relationship with, with music. Just picture those guys running through the airport like gazelles. <laughs> I do too, Ness. That's... I definitely have a weird relationship with music. That's cool. I like a quiet house. Do um, you? Mm -hmm. It's too quiet because I have animals and they're kind of catatonic a lot of the times. <laughs> um, so, okay, I've just got a few more. Oh, I'm at the end. Okay. Let me go over here for the start. So Miss Moonlight has a question. A life path eight, uh, anything for the month of April, if there's time. Of course, we're going to make time for you. <laughs> My goodness. You're so generous. Louisa, I see I've got you starred, and KG, I've got you starred as well. If um, Eight life path.
one of the things I'll I'll just say up front, the eight life path, um, eight is manifestation, uh, all of that stuff. And sometimes what people forget to tell you that the energy of the eight is also big, uh, bigger risks. People will take more risks. And um, it looks like you're walking away from something you've put a lot of time and effort into it. And right after you let that go, now the eight of... Eight of Cups, I want to tell someone th uh, this. So it looks like you're walking away from something you've put a lot of time and effort into. But what the card means is you've already completely let go of it. You're not, you don't have the anxiety. You have turned your back on it and looking towards a new horizon. So it's a really happy card, actually. And it looks like it's good. you're going to get some rest with the Four of Swords and uh, Four of Wands. So April looks really great with the Wheel of Fortune. So make the best of it. This is what's available to you. And uh, so take advantage of it. There you go. What do you get? Well, I noticed um, Miss Moonlight just said I have to let go. So she's um, resonating definitely with what you're saying with, mm -hmm. with what you are saying there um i got the sun for you so um good things coming up and success joy right and then you got the ten of swords so i see it being a little bit of roller coastery as i call it um going up and down but um just the fact that there's a sunrise here in the back and then you know that the swords are going to be lifted and good things are coming so you've got the hierophant and that's the teacher learner card and i love how he's floating here yeah he's actually floating through the um through the window and that's just to bring the the knowledge of source into your life and you may be um being called to be a teacher as well with that card and i got the page of cups for you and with this sensitivity and lots of emotion coming in with this um, particular page so just uh, take that and you got the seven of wands which i call the badass card it's yeah having, it's a good having one. boundaries yeah having boundaries and making sure that you don't let anybody in, including yourself cross your boundaries yeah so i think that um they have got a lot of good stuff going on and I'm hearing more than anything of the middle card, the teaching, that something's going to pop in for you that um, you're going to have the ability to lead. So that's mm -hmm. what I've got. Nice. Nice, Miss Moonlight. Now, does um, does Miss Moonlight read tarot? Uh, yes, she knows. I think she knows tarot very well. I awesome. believe. I believe. Awesome. She's a, or either she's just a really great learner. So <laughs> when things make sense, she said, I was just talking about teaching. That's great. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. This is the year. I mean, we're getting there. <clears throat> this is why I'm so passionate about teaching people. And I really love the way you explain the cards so people can learn because we need advisors. We need more advisors. We need, advisors that are concise with their message and um, accurate with their message because people need direction, especially now when it gets a little bit crazy. <laughs> a little Absolutely. bit crazy. Thank you for that. Yeah, and I've got Louisa. I heard a man's voice said Robert Amon would love to know what that means. Did you Google? <laughs> Did you Google Robert? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Let's idea. Google him. I am looking. You just wanted to. Oh, go in. ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if he comes in. He might not come in. Go ahead. Just wanted to um, say hi real quick to a few people. Um, Barb's Wheel of Fortune is Sharon's site. Um, Tarot Stash is here. Wendy is here, Charlie, so a bunch of new people coming in. I just wanted to say hi real quick. Awesome. I'm going to be on, uh, I'm going to have Tarot Stash on uh, soon. So hi. Hi, boyfriend. He was my first live. 
He was my first. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How nice. Ah. Uh, Huh. Robert is not coming in, so he might he might be alive. Hmm. Mm -mm. He's saying no go. So it might be someone who's alive. I was looking to see if it was a it was a spirit in spirit. It might be in spirit, but he's not. <laughs> He does, he's not fond of me, apparently. <laughs> I'm not getting a lot with the cards as well. I'm yeah. trying to, to read here, but I'm not getting on. Well, I think he may be alive too, but I think that there's a um, message of luck and maybe of, of hope, good things coming in for you. And so I, I did draw the luck card. I, draw, I also drew the extremes card. Hmm. and the patience card so i think this will come to you in in time and maybe something that you can look back up on and say oh that's that's what this means but google it and see yeah Wikipedia google it that. For sure. <laughs> yeah do that but also when you start hearing things feeling see, touch you know someone touching you or you get an impression or something like when you up level your intuition when you up level your studying and you're being more aware you're going to hear and see a lot of things that are already there so don't let it and you're just being able to see it and pick it up so don't let it scare you at all okay we've got kg hello scott may i get angel messages for anything that angels want to tell me i love that i love that You're welcome, Miss Moonlight. And you use the angel guide here from Kyle Gray. Nice. Do you know who Kyle Gray is? I'm sure you do. No? Uh, no. Mm -mm. He's so excellent with, he does angel oracle cards, and he's just ah. incredible. Yeah. He's so is that his, too. that's his deck? Yes one of his many decks here i just love his decks he's very much into the angels in touch with them and the masters mm. well the first thing i got is friendship and union so um the angels want to tell you that maybe you're going to have a close friendship um start with someone and it could be um unity as well with someone so I'm picking that up um, with courage and bravery. It makes me think that this is going to be a strong friendship and, and union that's coming in. And bravery as well. So just being strong with um, things that are coming into your life and making sure that you just put the armor on, right? And don't look back. Be resilient. And then you have signs and reminders. So... This is definitely with the butterflies, a change is happening for you and the birds are messengers. And then you got a big, huge feather, which is also a sign for you. So just look around. And I think the angels are all around you giving signs. So did you get anything, Deborah? Oh, I was busy in the chat. Let me just look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was addressed to you. Somebody had a question here. I hope to not skip anybody but please forgive me if i do um <laughs> first card out your your angels are saying go celebrate or there's something to celebrate or you need to get out of the house and have a glass of wine or bring your fr friends in because here i have the lover's card as well so the two and three of of cups so there's time to uh, be with others and have a celebration that's going to be good medicine good medicine awesome. so remember if you want to come into the into our our room here uh, i'm i'm 
putting the link in the chat right now, but I've got a few more reading. Are you up for a couple more there, Scott? Of course, yes. Awesome. I am moving down here. I think I did that. Oh, yes, I did. Jessica Lynn. Hello. If time, may I have a belated birthday message, Deborah? Birthday was, oh, okay. I can do your personal year and tell you what it's going to be. Thanks for joining us tonight. That's so nice spending time. You've got the best year. I love this year. So it's a three personal year, all this create creativity. I don't know what your life path number is, uh, but the blessing of a three personal year is that you'll get an idea to do something with momentum and with the wind at your back, doors will open. But if you feel bad or struggling, you create something. I don't care what it is. You can create a cake or you can create um, a, a, a poem. You doesn't matter what you orchestrate as long as you orchestrate and your mood will lift, your vibration will lift right away. So, uh, did you get any cards for Jessica Lynn? I did. I used the Fortune Oracle, and I've got the star for you. So, I think there's hope and healing coming in. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, big surprises, I think, are coming in for you, too, for this year. And I just... Um, I love that you got that card and this is this card this is a newer deck and this is i think just the second time i pulled this card and i love it it's the cracker card and it says um positive energy surrounds you love joy and good fortune await nice so, yeah so all kinds of good things coming in yeah. and surrounding you with um positivity hey and then you got the plane card the plane and it says a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically your life will become more full and so gosh what a positivity what a for you it's so cool yeah you deserve every good thing everybody deserves every good thing coming to them thank you so here we are scott the shadows in your hallway look like people standing watching you Oh, wow. Yeah, yes. yeah, I see what she's saying as yeah. I look backwards. Yeah, Jen. Yeah, I love <laughs> <See> that. that. <laughs> you are not alone. <laughs> We've got Coach Ellen. Been told that psychic abilities are in my future. What do the cards say? Life Path 11. Hello. As a master of that's called the intuitive. So you've, you've been psychic all your life, and you're, you think everyone, that's like your superpower, and you think everybody does it. Say, what new do I have to say to anybody? Everyone else knows. No, you have to look up what a life path 11 means in numerology to learn about your beautiful self. But um, I'm just doing a yes, no real quick here. The answer is a yes. Of course, it's yes. But there's two aces in your reading. Five card pull. Two aces in your reading, and that means the beginning of, you know, right now you have the ace of, of swords. That means you're thinking about going in a certain direction, but the blessing is that you have the ace of wands, meaning that you will be moving forward on a physical level. I'm going to choose tarot. I'm going to choose pendulum. I'm going to turn whatever it is. You're going to choose something and anchor that in with the seven of pentacles. You're going to anchor that into real life. And then you, you'll choose any modality you choose to study is going to be your pathway into that room of knowing. You'll be very successful. Very successful. What did you get for Coach Ellen? Got the three of cups. So mm -hmm. I think there's going to be something to celebrate. So um, looking at these cards, it's a definite yes for me. Um, you've got the three of wands that's making your plans and manifesting them. And that can be psychic too. What What is calling to you and to manifest? So that could be something that is, you know, your psychic abilities are taking form to create something 
beautiful. And then you got the star as well. So the star is coming in a lot today, but this is again of hope and healing. And um, yeah, this, this can definitely be tied in with being psychic and just knowing that um, you have the hope and the drive to do what you set your mind to. And um, funny, I should say set your mind to, I think that just came out, but um, it, I think that's the message as well. You know, set your mind to learning more and that will, you know, your muscle gets stronger when you use it, right? So use that muscle and I think good things will happen for you. You've got a lot of hope coming in and celebration. So. Oh, that's great. So the th uh, three of wands always two and three of wands. If you ever get the, that combination, it's also commerce. It can mean ah. commerce. And, and since I got the seven of pentacles, which is basically making your own money <laughs> and also a message that whatever you, your life experience has been can serve you well with your next step, but it's up to you to move forward on that. We see your future very well. We see your magnificence and we'll hold your magnificence in our hearts and minds. And then if you waver, you waver, just come back and we'll, we'll put the mirror around for you. I promise. Very, very talented. Uh, oh, we got a compliment. I have to have that. Thank you, Harley. Uh -huh. Uh, this says you and Scott are great readers and wonderful with the viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Harley. Good to see that, you. That means a lot. We've got a question here from, from Garnet. Uh, so question my esoteric upbringing. Where am I on my path? How can we frame this, Scott? Um, I don't know because there's not a beginning and an end, right? Right. If you want to, uh, maybe where he is that on the path, um, on his life path. I'm not right, sure. Right, right, right. But you know, uh, if you could, I've, I put the link to to our show in the chat, and if you wanted to click on that link, it'll bring us in, and then we can talk to you about this because I can't frame the. You have to have a frame of reference for a good reading, an accurate reading. Um, so there's. We don't have a measuring stick on this one. So please come on in uh, and and talk to us. I'm sorry. I can't do anything. Did you want to try I can that pull on? Couple, I can pull a couple of cards and just see what comes up um, for you, Garnet. Um, got the Knight of Cups. So um, I think... This could be something good happening, you know, bringing something good into your life. So um, I think this is a good path forward. And then you may have to stop on your path a little bit and have patience and wait for something to, to harvest and to come and move. And then on your path, you need to be a free spirit. So... It says um, how to get on. Yes, that would that would be Scott. Yeah, how to get on my life path. I think is. Oh, how do you get on? Oh, how to get on your life path? How to get on? Yes. Will you reverse engineer whatever you're passionate about? And what does that mean? That means that you figure out what you really want to do, even if it's just in sections. So I knew that I really wanted to help people. I get a real buzz when I'm one-on-one -on -one with someone and they go, oh, the penny drops, you know, oh, I get it now. And I feel that's what I wanted to do. But I didn't know what I would do to get to that moment. So you choose a uh, moment yeah. that made, that fills your heart and you reverse engineer what you could do to create that moment that blessed moment for you, uh, and you and that's how you <laughs> how you figure out where what where your path is. Does that make sense? So if you felt, oh, I feel really good when I 
I knit a, a sweater and give it to a friend that makes that fills my heart cooking for another that fills my heart then you you start there and then you work backwards on how what you can do today to get there does that make sense makes Maybe sense to me yeah. I have uh, two more questions here we're at the end we're just at one hour but we'll do you mind if we do a couple more just quick of course not uh, my spiritual brother Scott God bless you dear um, may I have a channeled message from my aunt Eloise? She passed away 41491. It will be 33 years Ooh, tomorrow, and my birthday is on the 18th of April. She's asking for channeling. What I got, Andrea, is that is it okay for me to go, Deborah? Yeah, yeah. I didn't she want to she asked. Off. No, no, no. She asked for a channeling message from you. I'm sure she would love a message from you too. But I've got um, one. Oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and um, we got the Nine of Cups. So I think that she is saying for you to manifest the life that you want. Okay, bring in um, joy and. Bring in happiness and get it, get rid of friction that's in your life is what I'm hearing. And then you got the emperor. And so the emperor is all about um, leading. So I think that you could be a leader in your life. And she's saying for you to be a leader and to just accept responsibility as a, a present, as a gift that's being given to you. And then you got the chariot, so pushing forward. She's telling you to push forward and just keep going and knowing that she's behind you and is rallying up the angels and the guides and your ancestors to all help you through your path. So I think you have a beautiful path ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So I have, um, you are in a, a three personal year. And that's, again, that very creative year. And when I went into that, those options, those uh, inspiration or sparks of creativity, I've, I've, I have the justice card, meaning ba balance, harmony, right? It's like that. Uh, but it, it's a permission to say, yeah, keep, keep it up. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. So don't feel guilty about moving into whatever you would like to do in your, and the creativity, you don't have to commit to one thing and just keep creating. If you feel blue about something, if you want to talk to your, uh, your sweet aunt Eloise, that can certainly happen. You'll have creative inspiration to do something. Let's say get in your car and drive. I have inspiration. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to have spirit tell me when to turn, make it an exercise, bring it into into tangible living and then Eloise will be in your passenger side you see and while you get in that zone of driving Eloise is going to be right there so that's the kind of creativity you could have in a three personal year awesome. that's it we had someone pop into the studio the camera wasn't on uh, oh, okay. it's a little, it's a little bit late for that, but I, we'll, we'll do it again. And, uh, yeah. Pavati has, I, I had a question. What's coming next in my love connection with my friend? A wink, a wink, <laughs> my friend. Interesting. I had a couple of, um, not slowdowns, but pauses, but pauses in a good way with the hangman uh, coming in and saying, huh, let me think outside the box on this. I feel that your friend might be thinking outside the box. Like mm, maybe it is time to fall in love again or uh, have a deeper friendship. And, uh, but again, I have the hangman uh, upright and the two of swords upright. 
So it just means he's moving into this, hmm, maybe, maybe a little deeper would work. So, and I'm sure you're ready for that. I've got the same thing. I've got the three of pentacles. This is working with someone else or a group to make things happen. So I think this could be an indication of a pairing maybe up there. I should see stream yard is hard, hard to point, but up here. And then you got the ace of cups. So yeah, wow. overflowing <laughs> love. Get, that has a real, that's a deepening of the relationship for sure. Yes, oh exactly. And then you got the four of wands, which is the celebration card. So you got all these celebration cards and just good things moving in. So I think that it's a good connection for entertainment purposes only, but I do think it's a good connection. Um, from what the cards say so that's fun that's a fun yeah. message isn't it yeah and i think your friendship could grow into you know something else to so just have fun like deborah was saying it have fun and um then good things can come out of laughter out of fun and you never know what's going to happen right but keep having mm -hmm. fun in the friendship uh there i was going to sign off for a second here but the same mm -hmm person that came into our room here sent me a private mm -hmm. message it says how much do i need to pay for a question sweetheart you don't have to pay anything for a question if you do invest in a super sticker or something like that it'll pull you right up to the top so you're like almost guaranteed an answer not but it's it's time related. Here we are at the end of the hour. So uh, maybe we'll see you next time. But just go ahead. And the best way is to write your question in all caps. Maybe have some emojis or something to draw uh, the eye to that. That would work. But uh, may maybe next time we can get you, get you in. But for now, I want to thank you, Scott, for coming on. Thank and you I'll for having me. And that we're dancing up. It's almost like it's the hook no is little. coming. <laughs> Oh, I so enjoy this and I want to do it again. Thank you everyone you. for taking the time out to be with us today. We really, really appreciate this. Have a wonderful weekend, the rest of the Bye, weekend. Bye-bye.